good morning student welcome back again in uh, today's session uh, we will see the method for determination of calorific values i think on previous class we have already seen uh, the calorific value and the types of the calorific value i will just highlight calorific value means what calorific value it is defined as total quantity of heat liberated by complete combustion of unit mass or unit volume of the fuel in presence of air and oxygen is called as the calorific value and how the calorific value can be determined there are two different method for determination of calorific value first one is for solid fuel and non volatile liquid fuel bomb calorimeter method is useful right for measurement of the calorific value in today's session we will see bomb calorimeter method principle construction calculation and correction factor in bomb calorimeter so this point we will see so let's focus on our powerpoint presentation uh, the principle of bomb calorimeter is actually this bomb calorimeter method is useful to determine the calorific values of only solid and non volatile liquid fuel so what is the principle of bomb calorimeter a known weight of pure and dry fuel is allowed to burn in a bomb calorimeter and liberated heat is absorbed by water their initial and final temperature is recorded right this is the principle of bomb calorimeter now the construction part construction part is very simple it consists of the four different part number one is bomb pot second one is the calorimeter third one is the air and water jackets and fourth one is the accessories right these are the four different construction part in the bomb calorimeter see in next slide this is the diagram of the bomb calorimeter right uh, so we will go one by one actually bomb calorimeter consists of four part number one is bomb pot uh, bomb pot it is the cylindrical strong stainless steel pot having a lid the lid can be fitted in air tight to bomb pot by screwing right and these are the two different parallel electrode this two different parallel electrode is inserted right uh, and uh, at the center there is oxygen inlet valve is there this is the oxygen inlet valve one of the electrode is uh, provided with ring to hold the crucible containing the fuel and the another uh, electrode is connected with the resistance wire in the form of loop and that loop can touches to the fuel sample the wet fuel is burned in bomb pot in presence of high pressure oxygen so this is the simple construction part of what you are bomb pot number 2 is the calorimeter there is a stainless steel see this is the stainless steel okay so there is a stainless steel calorimeter in which and copper calorimeter right so in between stainless steel calorimeter and copper calorimeter the bomb pot is kept it contain known volume of water the known of volume of water is continuously circulated with the help of what this is electronically operated stirrer right so by using this electronically operated stirrer the known volume of water is continuously circulated in the bomb pot then a beckman thermometer see this is the beckman thermometer is also inserted right beckman thermometer or which can say the digital thermometer in which kept in which water of calorimeter which can record the rise in temperature of water due to absorbing the heat generated in the burning of the fuel in bomb pot so this is the function of what your beckman thermometer and third part is what your water and air jackets right see this is the air jackets and this is the water jacket the calorimeter right this calorimeter is surrounded by air jackets and water jacket to avoid the heat loss due to the radiation there are insulator stands between the calorimeter and water jackets right and last fourth point is what accessories the accessories is what you are the stainless steel cylinder is required right uh, for the oxygen purpose oxygen cylinder is required as well as the uh, pallet press is required so this is the simple construction part of what your bomb calorimeter 
now this is the observations um, that is we have to going to record it uh, we, using this bomb calorimeter experiment right so number one is what the let's the mass of the fuel in gram right that is called as the x gram mass of the fuel in gram is x gram then uh, second one is the mass of water in calorimeter which is represented by capital w third one is the water equivalent of the calorimeter which is represented by small w right and this l stands for what your gross calorific value right then t1 is the initial temperature t2 is the final temperature and t2 minus t1 is the rising temperature these are the observation so formula to calculate the gcv is what gcv which is equal to capital w plus small w into t2 minus t1 divided by x unit is what calories per gram right so what is the gcv gcv is called as gross calorific value capital w stands for what mass of water in the calorimeter small w stands for what uh, water equivalent of calorimeter set t2 minus t1 is the rising temperature and this x is stands for what your mass of fuel in gram and the unit is what calories per gram and if you know the gcv from this we can simply calculate the ncv how the ncv is calculated ncv which is equal to gcv minus 0.09 into h into 587 so this is the calculation to determine the gross calorific value of solid fuel and non volatile liquid fuel now the next important point is the correction factor uh, in order to get the more accurate result the following correction factor should be considered in the bomb calorimeter there are three different correction factor number one is the fuse wire correction uh, this fuse wire correction which is denoted by tf in the bomb calorimeter method fuse wire mostly the magnesium ribbon wire is used to ignite the fuel right therefore heat liberated due to burning of the fuse wire must be subtracted from the total gcv so this is called as what your fuse wire correction second correction factor is acid correction factor this acid correction factor which is denoted by ta during the combustion of the fuel sulfur and nitrogen is present in the fuel and gets converted into acids like sulfur converted into what sulfur dioxide sulfur dioxide in presence of water converted into what sulfuric acid nitrogen converted into what nitric acid right so formation of sulfuric acid and nitric acid this above reaction is what it is the exothermic reaction right so therefore heat liberated due to such reaction must be subtracted from what total gcv this is called as what your acid correction and last one is what your cooling correction if the time taken for the water in calorimeter to cool from the maximum temperature attained to the room temperature suppose this is in the x minute and the rate of cooling should be added to the rise in temperature right so this is called as what your cooling correction so you remember this one acid correction fuse wire correction and cooling correction fuse wire correction is subtracted acid correction is also subtracted and cooling correction is added into the total gcv right i think we will uh, stop here i think you understood uh, the principle of the bomb calorimeter construction of the bomb calorimeter then the calculation formula to calculate the gcv and the correction factor um, for the accurate uh, uh, gcv that is acid correction fuse wire correction and cooling correction so we will stop here thank you very much